Hello everyone. So, HD2 Black Box has been upgraded and I'm going to test it out versus the Access Analog Hardware. So, the brand new Plugin Alliance HD2 Black Box, one of my most favourite saturation plugins of all time versus the hardware. Let's do it. So, Plugin Alliance have released the new HG2 Black Box, they have upgraded it, and they've also added in the very nice kind of BX console stuff like the Mono Maker, the Stereo Spread, and they've also added in some nice filtering options as well, so instead of it just being low, flat and high, they've actually allowed you to boost frequencies, take away frequencies, and they've also allowed you to change the high pass and low passes as well, so you can actually decide which frequencies you choose to saturate. So, let's test it out versus kick, snare, Bass, the mono instances, and then we'll do mid side in the guitars. Settings will be on the screen, so we'll just do the three of them. Blind tests again, you tell me in the comments which one you thought was which, and then I'll kind of reveal it. And then we'll do a final test comparing the dry to the analog and also the HG2 new plugin from Plugin Alliance. So let's go straight into the shootouts kick, snare, bass. Let's do it.
So hopefully you can hear, in my opinion, that you get more punch out of the kick and the snare. Um, the bass is a little bit different. I actually do prefer the, the hardware and I tried my best. Um, the good thing with this plugin is that if you use the density knob, especially if you, if you see in the kick, um, actually you can clean up. You can get that kind of same tone and saturation of the same settings, but use the density knob also, almost like a mix knob. I think that was maybe why I was able to kind of get that more of that kind of tight kind of detail in the low end. And hitting the density knob a little harder in the snare, I just felt I was able to take the tone, which is very, very close to the hardware, and just bringing that a little bit forward and then adding a little bit more depth. And in the bass, I do prefer, no matter what I did, I was able to get as close as I could. It was The bass was quite difficult. I do prefer the hardware, but it's still very, very close. But a trained ear be able to hear it in a blind test? I very much doubt it. So let's try this thing out in mid-side mode versus the analog hardware in stereo, okay? So it's a stereo instance of the Access Analog Hardware and what I've done is I've put, um, I've basically just changed the settings to give you a different sound. So hopefully what you'll hear in the Access Analog guitars is that you've got some really nice kind of, really gritting kind of sizzle from the guitars, a little bit of width, but in the mid-side mode what I've tried to do is I've tried to basically clean up that sound, kind of get the same character, but kind of clean it up um, add a little bit more cut and just a little bit more depth. I might be wrong, might just be my ears, but let's hear how that sounds. So hopefully, hopefully, you might agree with me, you might not, again, let me know down below your thoughts. I kind of feel that the mid-side mode, I was able to take that kind of same kind of sound. You cannot get the same sound. And the guitars, I just couldn't do it. It's just really, really hard. But the mid-side mode, what that allows you to do is it allows you to saturate the mids and the sides differently. Again, you can use the different um, filtering options as well. And it's just, uh, to me, I was just able to get a clearer sound, some really nice saturation, a little bit more cut, a little bit more width, I kind of preferred it and I think it sits a little bit better in the mix um, where the analogs, maybe it's a little bit muddy, maybe it's a little bit unclear and I've got a little bit more clarity in the mid-side. Again, I may be wrong, everything's subjective. So if you have enjoyed this video, then please consider subscribing, also like this video and also if you really, really, really like this video, there is a join button as well so you can get behind Mix and Wednesdays and there's also a Patreon campaign as well so you can help me invest in buying analog hardware to do these shootouts myself buying analog hardware. Links in description, okay? So, my name is Paul Third, this is Mixed Wednesdays, and what we'll end on, we'll end on a final test comparing the dry versus the hardware versus the new Plugin Alliance upgrade of the HG2 black box. Again, let me know your comments down below what you think and which one you preferred, and if really you could even hear any difference. You should hear some differences in this, but again, let me know down below what you think. And I'll see you again next Wednesday.